Okay, Amy here, and this is my amazing Odonata researcher friend, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. And he caught this dragonfly. And we were wondering if you guys can tell us by looking at it if it's a male or a female. So, if we look at the head, does that help us at all? Mm, not really. If we look at the thorax, does that help us at all tell if it's a male or a female? Uh, well, not really. The clues we need are all in the abdomen. So, males have what we call secondary genitalia. Let's see if I can get to focus on it. On the bottom of yeah. their okay. abdomen, okay. we'll point at it with a piece of grass. Right there? Yep. Females don't have that. The males just have a bunch of little bumps coming out there. Only males have those bumps. If you look at a female on that spot, she would be smooth. Also, if we look at the tip of the abdomen, see how there are claspers there? There are ones on the top and the bottom. If this were a female, she would only have two and not the top and the bottom. She'd just have, I guess you would call them top ones, would you say? Yeah. And that's what he uses when he holds on to her while they're mating. So this is a male dragonfly. We figured out the sex. Good job, everybody. Look at that beautiful beast. So this is a female fawn darner. Remember, and you can see the functional ovipositor right you here. You can. So an ovipositor is a sharp tube that she uses to lay her eggs with. She can poke a hole into wood or plants with that and then put the eggs in that hole. What a beautiful insect.